how can I externalize my applications configuration? There are different ways of doing that. Let's see that together. The first one is to use environment variables. You can set an environment variable on your deployment. Okay, and how can we do that? Simply by typing this command kubectl set env deployment, the name of my deployment, my boot. And for instance, here I set, I set an environment variable called love with the value aloha. Okay, I apply that and take a look at what happened here for my pod. A new pod will be created because I changed my uh, deployment. And in my new pod that is running here, it will have access to this environment variable. Okay. But the way more common way of handling your configuration is to use a config map. A config map is a Kubernetes resource in which you can put any kind of, of configuration that you want. Let's create one. I have this command, kubectl create cm for config map, my config, that's the name I give to my config map. And here I say, well, fill it with values that you will find in this environment file that I have here hosted locally. I just do this. And here we have our config map created. If I do a kubectl uh, get config map, it will be shown here, my config. Okay. If I do a kubectl describe my config map, we can see it as well here with the values, a greeting, jumbo, and love, amour. And now what we want to do is to apply a new resource, a deployment that links to this config map. Okay, let's do that. Let's apply a file and let's see together how this file looks like. While it's getting deployed, I can show you how it looks like. Let me open that. And if we take here a look at, at the specs of my container, we can also see this section and from, that means Take the environment variables from a config map, okay? Config map ref is my config. And by specifying that in your deployment, the right config map will be picked up and those environment variables will be injected in your deployment. That's all. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel.